Consumers today can choose from an almost unlimited variety of poultry meat and egg products. These products are abundant, nutritious, safe, and very affordable. Decades of scientific research have enabled the poultry industry to implement practices which allow the birds to thrive in a productive and comfortable environment. Consumers today are very curious about how their food is produced and want to know more about specific issues. One topic discussed often today is antibiotic use. U.S. Poultry has invited two noted experts to help us understand the use of antibiotics in the poultry industry. Dr. Randy Singer and Dr. Chuck Hoffaker will answer questions concerning current and future use of antibiotics in poultry. Hi, my name is Randy Singer. I'm an Associate Professor of Epidemiology at the University of Minnesota. I'm a veterinarian and I have my PhD in Epidemiology. The focus of my research program for the last 15 years has been really around foodborne pathogens and antimicrobial resistance and how to minimize risks to the animal populations, to the human populations, as well as in the environment. When I teach courses in infectious disease epidemiology to grad graduate students in veterinary medicine and in public health, we focus extensively on how we can create programs to reduce these disease risks to the animal populations and human populations. What we're going to talk about today with respect to antibiotic use. Antibiotics are a key part of a program to maintain the health of these animal populations. They have their potential risks, antibiotic resistance. And so what we're going to discuss today is how we try to minimize those risks from resistance developing in bacteria that affect the animals as well as the bacteria that can be spread to people through food. Hi, I'm Chuck Hoffaker. I'm a veterinarian and I've specialized in poultry medicine for the last 30 years. I'm a professor at the University of Georgia and I teach veterinarians the specialty of, of poultry veterinary medicine. Today we're going to visit this farm and talk about antibiotic use and antibiotic resistance in the poultry industry. One of the major tools that a poultry veterinarian and the poultry industry uses in the, their fight against diseases is to prevent the disease to come onto the farm in the first place. So before we go onto this farm and talk about antibiotic resistance and antibiotic use, we'll be putting on boots and coveralls and a hairnet so that we don't bring any diseases onto this farm. Why are antibiotics given to poultry? Maintaining the health of a population of chickens like this is no simple task. This is a complex living organism that really is treated as a single unit, this approach in population medicine. Antibiotics are a critical component of our toolbox on how to keep this population healthy. But they are definitely not the only or even the primary tool in our toolbox. Whether it's the veterinarian, the, uh, the manager of this farm, the people who work on the farm, everyone is aware of the health status of this flock of chickens and will incorporate a whole variety of interventions to keep this population healthy from vaccination protocols to management strategies, rodent control, vector control, a whole variety of ways in which we work to maintain the health of this population. But we know, just like any living organism, that they can get sick. So we are going to use those antibiotics to maintain the health preventing them from getting sick in the first place, or should disease appear, that we can quickly respond with the appropriate antibiotic in order to eliminate that disease from sped spreading rapidly through this population. Well, to understand why we use antibiotics in poultry, we have to understand that a large portion of what we do as poultry veterinarians is prevent disease. And the poultry producers, that's, that's their goal, is to prevent disease. So if we look at this house of chickens, there's 25,000 chickens in this house. It's very similar to a city of 25,000 people. This farm is owned by a family farmer. He, he runs this farm and it's his family's business. To be successful, he's going to have to do a good job in the husbandry or the animal care so the environment inside of these houses is very, very good. The, the chickens don't have to worry about a, a hawk flying over and attacking them or a fox coming and getting them. They're in a, in a safe, 
clean environment where they have food and water whenever they want to eat, whenever they want to drink. The air is, is fresh and clean. So the environment is actually much better than it would be if they were in, in the old days outdoors. Uh, 30 years ago when I started as a veterinarian, there were still a lot of turkeys that were raised outside. And those turkeys had a lot more diseases and got sick a lot more that were outside than the turkeys that are raised indoors. And that's the reason that there's not much turkey raising that's outdoors any longer in the United States. This video was brought to you by U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors.